For Flagstaff homeowners, a yard with a bird feeder can attract more than just birds. Thanks to a recent study done by citizen scientists and NAU, we are now learning that raccoons and squirrels and skunks gather to eat the fallen seeds of a bird feeder. This new information can hopefully lead to an efficient vaccination for rabies. Drew Miller has the update. I've fed birds for years and I was not aware until Tad uh, started this study of what happens at night. In the middle of the night, I'm asleep. I didn't realize that animals were coming in to the seed that falls on the ground as a food source. It's a collaboration among NAU, the Department of Agricultural Animal Plant Health Inspection Service, Wildlife Services, and Navajo Technical University to determine best methods for vaccination against rabies. But rabies is a deadly disease that can be transmitted to humans directly or to humans through their pets. In the United States, because we've been so good about vaccinating our pets, um, our pets aren't much of a, a concern anymore. In other parts of the world, the main thing you have to worry about are rabid dogs. In the United States, wildlife are now the major carriers of rabies. Things like raccoons in the eastern United States, striped skunks around Flagstaff, gray fox around Flagstaff. As part of the study, Tad and his team set up an infrared motion sensor camera to monitor the movement of the wildlife. Um, and so trying to control that rabies in wildlife becomes the challenge. Uh, now for raccoons and foxes, they've had an oral rabies vaccine that they can distribute in a little packet. Uh, the animal comes along, bites into the, the packet, swallows the liquid inside, and vaccinates itself against rabies. Now, we haven't developed one for skunks yet, but we're on the verge of doing so. So in the next few years, we're going to have an oral vaccine for skunks. And we want the, the habitat to be good for both the animals and humans. And if, if the animals pose a threat to humans, then they're not, people aren't going to want them around, and that has its implications. So if we could somehow get this oral vaccine spread across the landscape in a way that a large percentage of the animals are eating it, then we can vaccinate a large percentage of the animals. They become immune as, as humans do. Um, and suddenly you don't have to worry about a rabid skunk in your backyard because 90% of them are now vaccinated against the disease. For NAZ Today, I'm Drew Miller.